Good morning, good morning. I want to wish everybody a great day and thank you for tuning in and, and just just worshiping with me and um, listening to what the Lord has to say to us. But today I more so want to tell you a story. Uh, the Lord has laid Isaiah 40, 31 on my heart for probably the past two weeks or so. So I'm going to read that scripture to you. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up like eagle, with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Well, when I started this journey with the Lord, I thought, what does that mean? Wait upon the Lord. Be still and know that He is God. The one thing I had the most trouble with was being still and patience. So I would <laughs> I would practice when I first came to the Lord. I would put some some instrumental worship music on in the background and I'd get my pillow and I would lay in the floor, you know, on my face and just praying, Okay, Lord, I'm 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 waiting. I'm waiting, God. I don't know what I'm waiting for, but uh, I'm gonna wait. Five minutes seem like eternity, okay? <laughs> and I would say, Lord, it's been five minutes. <laughs> and I can just hear him just laughing and saying, no, what I have for you is not cheap. And you're not going to get it the easy way. So I needed to learn discipline. I needed to be trained. I needed to learn to not get ahead of God, but to wait on Him. And now I know the meaning of this scripture. Every morning when you get up, just sit in the presence of the Lord. Put on some, some instrumental soaking music and just thank Him, praise Him. Worship Him. Don't bring Him your laundry list of things. Hey, I need you to do this, and I need you to do that, and I need you to do ASAP. And yesterday, no, I'm coming before your presence today, God, saying thank you. Thank you for what you're doing in my life. Thank you for what you're doing in my family, God. I praise you. I worship you. I give you glory. I love you. I give you my life. God, do with it as you will. Get me out of the way, Lord. I worship you. And the Bible says that he inhabits the praise, the praises of his people. So the longer you sit there and the more you train yourself and discipline yourself to sit there. I'm not saying sit there for the first couple times for an hour. I'm saying practice. It's like practice in the presence of the Lord. You know, we spend, if we're required to work eight hours on our job, we're going to be there for eight hours because, you know, that's how we pay our bills, even though the Lord is our provider. But if we're told we got to be there eight hours, we're going to be there eight hours. But it just seems like when it comes to the things of the Lord and really growing in relationship with Him, we don't take that as seriously as we do, say, a job or, or something like that. Um, we can work, 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 work ourselves. Even in ministry, we can work ourselves. And it's not about our works. Our works will come from our time with the Lord sitting in his presence. So the longer you sit there, every day practice this, sit there. And don't, don't think about your problems. Cast those thoughts down. The Bible says to take them captive and cast those things down in the name of Jesus. Do that and sit there and just say, Lord, I thank you. Lord, I praise you. Oh, God, I give you glory for who you are, Jesus. And all of a sudden, you're going to feel a chill or you're going to feel the wind of the Spirit. And you're going to know that you're in the presence of the Lord. You're going to feel like I could stay here forever and ever. And the more you experience His presence, the more you want to be in His presence. So do this every morning. And when you get home from work or whatever it is that you have to do, do it again. 
We need to get the debris of this world off of us because it's a war out there. And another thing, the eagle. This word says you shall mount up with wings like eagles. Did you know that eagles, they watch, they wait for the storm or for the great wind of glory to pass by? Because when they see that coming, they catch that wave, almost like a surfer, and they ride it out. There's no flapping of the wings, oh, God, I'm going to fall, this, that, and the other, like I used to do, oh, you know. <laughs> it's a whole other story. But, no, the eagle has vision. The eagle lo learns how to wait. And when they see that big wave of glory coming, It'll hop right in there and just ride it out. Because it's the storm, it's the wind that propels us higher and higher and higher above all the circumstances in this world. So, this is not only a message for me, it's a message for you. God longs to fellowship with us. It's important that we have the fellowship of the Holy Spirit and that we are led by the Holy Spirit. We're not dragging him around. He's leading us. And we're actually disciplined enough to listen and be obedient to what the Lord is saying. Don't stay so busy and have your hands in everything known to man that it takes you away from your relationship with the Lord. Because if, if that suffers, nothing else matters. Then it becomes about yourself. So, in the, anyway, I want to let you guys go, and I hope you have a great day, and you have gotten something out of this. In Jesus' name, you are an eagle, so fly high. In Jesus' name, amen.